Hi, this is Fredertine, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Canon EF 50mm Aperture 1.8 second generation lens. Um, it's a fairly nice lens. It has a 52mm filter thread. Um, it does not have manual focus override. It's extremely compact. It's fully focused it with, you know, since it's preset, with the focusing fully extended, it, it's about maybe two inches long. So, uh, it's a very, very compact lens. Um, comes with the regular Canon cap. I've got my Tiffin 52mm UV protection filter here, but you can get an idea of how little and compact this lens is. Um, the thing about this lens, though, I mean, I, I've had it for well over a year, and uh, I've probably taken 15,000 pictures with it, but it's completely plastic. Um, the mount's plastic, I mean, obviously, except for the glass elements and the metal electrical contacts, but, um, focusing ring's plastic, the barrel's plastic, all the switches are plastic, the mount is plastic. Um, I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't had any problems with finish marks or scratches on the glass or anything, so it's definitely got the Canon quality glass, but let's try it out on a uh, camera. I've got it on, mounted on my Canon EOS 30D digital SLR camera. Um, okay, I'm going to put it in program. Takes an extremely sharp picture, obviously. Aperture 1.8 on 50mm is standard for 50mm, but um, I don't see why you would want to pay 200 and some odd extra dollars to get the 1.4. I think it might have manual focus override, and yeah, it is 1.4. And it might have a USM motor. I think it does, actually, but um, this was just a better option for me, you know, 70 bucks for this. I bought it online at bhphotovideo.com. It was 69.95 on sale. And um, shipping was like 7 bucks for it. So I, I jumped on it. I bought it. And uh, I'm glad I did. I use it all the time. I use it at planned events, weddings. Um, not the best for macro, though. You've got to be about 11 inches away from your subject. That's why I have a... Um, let's see if I've got it in here. Quantre 2x DG Teleconverter Canon EF mount. So it's aperture 3.6, 100 millimeter. So that's great. That's fine. But um, here it is. And let me give you an idea of how much slower. Here's a comparison. I'm going to do 50mm with my 18 to 55 EFS lens. Or 55, rather. And um, I'm going to put it in TV mode. I'm going to have it at one sixth of a second, or no, AV mode, aperture 5.6, that's its minimum aperture at 55 millimeter. And I'll put it in TV. TV at one tenth of a second. Okay. Notice it's pretty dark. Um, I put it in TV one tenth of a second aperture one point eight. Much much brighter. I mean it, it's it's a nice lens. I'm like I said I'm extremely fond of it. I'm glad I bought it. One thing though it does not have a hood mount on the lens. You have to it, but the, when you buy the lens set it comes with an adapter. It screws into the filter or the filter thread. And it ha it's called, they call it the HD adapter, and it gives the lens a high definition resolution, resolution, and it gives filter threads, I mean hood thread, to put the hood on. But it's like 26 bucks for the hood with the adapter, so I haven't bought that yet. I've had bigger things to buy, so I'm gonna buy it though eventually, and uh, it'll be a pretty nice lens. And um, I mean it already is. Look at how. Large that front is.
Maybe it would be better to look at it through a light source. Maybe not. But, um, like I said, it's a nice lens. I recommend all Canon users buy one. You know, if you're an amateur or a pro, even if it's just as a backup. But, um, buy one. It's a great lens. This has been another review by Photo Team. And, um, about four to five hours after I put this review on, I'm putting a review of the Phoenix Ultra Wide Digital Zoom Autofocus 19 by 35 millimeter lens with Tiffin 77 millimeter filter and the Phoenix hood. So, uh, watch that. And I'm going to be doing a review on my Quantz Ray teleconverter and a review solely on the 18 to 55 EFS lens. So, uh, stay tuned to Photo Team for upcoming reviews. All of those will be posted within a day of posting the 50mm review. So uh, keep watching. This has been a photo team production. And be sure to email me at gradeaphoto at yahoo.com if you have any questions. Or just send me a comment and I'll comment back. And we can do it that way to figure out what you want me to review or if you have any questions. So uh, thanks for watching photo team. Bye.